welcome to the latest episode of We've Gone Fishing, and a very special one at that. I'm back here in southern France, fishing for some absolutely huge carp. I was here earlier on in July, and uh, managed to have a great week, really did have a great time here. What an amazing fishery this is. But this time, I'm back later on in the year when the fish are up and waiting, they're feeding harder. The weather conditions are good, it's been raining, slightly windy, it's cooler, still reaching 20 degrees, but still much better than 38 degrees that last time. So I'm in a swim called Peg 1 and 2 and I've already had one. I've had a 30 pounder which is good enough as it is. It looks like it's going to be fishing well so hopefully I'll be able to get some more. There's a few big fish topping left, right and centre in front of me and bubbling up and things like that. So it's looking promising. Um, today is my second day. The day it's Sunday I got it Saturday yesterday and just chucked the rods out yesterday because it was so busy. Uh, you know, such a rush getting here and everything. It's been a long drive. Um, but still tonight is looking promising I've got one rod out but I need to get the other two out but that's a bait boat job so yeah I'm looking forward to it I'm going to get some bait out get the rig sorted see if we can catch a few more of these monsters well, there we go get standing 22 and a half pound mirror not a monster but still it's a fish absolutely screamed off just caught from down to my right just the snags really shallow just caught on Hindu's nuts the snowman presentation some big fish out there Still topping, so bait the rod back up and see if we can uh, bag another one. Like that. Gone fishing. Right, well, you joined me on Tuesday. Um, it's been a couple of days since I spoke to you, kind of thing. Um, but uh, not much has happened, to be honest. I haven't had much to report back. Um, the action's gone pretty, pretty quiet, really. Um, the, the temperature's warmed up, certainly. Um, as the week's gone on sort of thing so most of the fish are back up in uh, 8 and 9 because I'm fishing peg 1 and 2 um, and 8 and 9 was where I did if you saw the last video where I did where well, I was you know, last time um, and uh, yeah the blokey up there at the minute he's having a good uh, a good session um, so they're up there at the minute but I think it's made a cool down um, so I think they're going to come back down this way it's slightly deeper um, but there's some seriously big fish topping um, and they are feeding, feeding hard. Um, so I've, I've got the rigs back out again today, um, the bait boat. Um, put them out, fish and maize and hemp again. Um, but this time we've, we've boily baits at the top. Um, but like I've got one boily, we've tipped off a bit of corn. Um, another one I'm actually just fishing. Uh, Hindu snails pop up over over the top on a hinge stiff rig. Um, slightly different to what you'd use. Um, with particle but it's kind of a dark colour so it represents the hemp slightly uh, <laughs> I know it's a lot bigger but you know still the principles there um, people have been catching on pop-ups over a bed of uh, amazing hemp so I thought I'd give it a go see what happens I haven't had anything yet um, obviously the last fish was at that 22 um, so yeah it's uh, it's looking good you know, it is warm it's, it's nice it's <laughs> holiday weather you know quite relaxing um, but yes, yeah, slowly starting to, to get into it now. So still got a long time left, so a chance of turning it around. But you know, who knows? This is known for a big fish, fish peg, so could be a chance for a monster. Mm. But who knows? Let's see how it goes. Um, yeah, I think uh, I think it's going to be alright. But yeah. Let's have a look at those rigs, I'll show you those rigs that I'm using. Um, yeah, they're slightly different to what you expect to use over particle, but um, they've worked so far, you know, I've had two fish, can't grumble, so let's have a look at those and uh, yeah, hopefully get back to you with a fish would be nice. And, yeah. Not much action the last couple of days, but finally got myself into one. Just taking on a, a Hinder Snails pop up on a Hinge Stiffrig presentation over some hemp and maize. So, absolutely cracking, made up with this now. Fish are moving about. Hopefully, there's a chance for a few more. Would like to think so.
Okay, one of the some more famous fish. Big girl. Let's see what she looks like. That's 61 pound. What a monster. And they're still crashing out behind us. <laughs> Second fish of the day. Really happy actually with this one. Uh, been a bit of an interesting day, but had the rods in most of the day and just literally flicked out. This rod's been out half an hour, maybe three quarters of an hour, so not long at all. Just changed the colour of the pop-up actually, put it on a cream stem hinders pop-up, just white and uh, on the hinge stiffery again. A couple of boys around it, roared off, what more can you want? <laughs> Cracking, let's see if we can get another one, maybe slightly bigger. Eh? Oh dear. <laughs> well, it's getting to that time of the week now. It's Thursday, tomorrow's Friday and I go home Saturday. It's not good, it's not good. This week uh, it's been quite slow, um, it wasn't last time, you know, they, they weren't jumping up the lines, let's be honest. Um, it's been an interesting one so far, um, almost prefer it when it's like this though because you do have to work for every single fish you get. Um, and I mean at some points in the week I was whack, racking my brains, you know, um, and slowly I think I'm, I've, I've overcome it and found a way around it. So what I thought we'd do is just talk, you know, about the rig presentation and uh, the bait that I'm using and that sort of thing. So, it's not dissimilar to last time. Um, if you remember, if any of you watched the video last time, I was using maize, hemp, um, you know, and using maize hook baits. Um, but this time it's slightly different. Um, they just haven't been responding to maize hook baits. Um, so, I've had to change it around a bit. Maize maybe hasn't been the high flyer this time. Um, certainly, hemp has been good, um, but not so much maize. But mixed together, you know, it's as good as it can get. So basically, what I thought I'd do is just show you it. Um, pretty simple to what I do, pretty you know similar to what I do in England. Um, just step tap tackle. Um, so basically, what we've got here, this is this is my, my boilie rig. Um, just been chopping and changing really with how I'm um, presenting them. Um, you know, they've been a bit, a bit fidgety, a bit slow, um, and they've been at the shallow end of the lake. So basically, what this is, is we've got a hinders nuts boilie. As you can see, it's a whole boilie, but it's just cut in half and turned upside down. And you've got an upside down pop up on top, half pop up on top. So slightly different, probably not what they usually see. Um, so yeah, I just thought it goes something like that. It's quite a nice little presentation. That seems to be doing it. Um, and as we come down the rig, we've got a size uh, six captor wide wide gate by quarter there. Um, little rig ring on the hook there, micro rig ring, really tight to the shank. Um, obviously quite far down the shank, so it makes the point of the hook heavy, because it's obviously not a you know pop-up or crit critically balanced bait. It's still a light bait, but it's not critically balanced. So Then we come down some shrink tubing just to help the hook turn. Um, then uh, a small section of uh, hybrid soft in 18 pound. Then uh, Link to some 15 pound quarter IQ, and uh, just there, you've got an all bright knot underneath that bit of tungsten putty just to cover over the uh, the knot. It's a pretty neat little setup. In all, in all, it's probably about I don't know, seven inches long, eight inches long. So, you know, nothing too different to what I'd use in England, just a, a stepped up hook size. Um, and obviously, it looks quite nice with a bit of uh, maize um, mixed in with, with the nuts boilies as well. Um, they're definitely taking the boilies more than they are the maize and hemp, um, but you know, still it, it gives them something to you know. If I can get them in the swim, I can hold them on it. So that's the plan. Um, and also, this rig is uh, it's quite a simple one. Um, you know, as most of my rigs are, I don't tend to complicate them. There's no need. Um, you know, at the end of the day, these fish as well in here they they feed hard. When they feed hard, you know, you're going to catch them. So. It's not a big emphasis on, you know, complicated rigs, um, so simple is maybe the way forward. Um, but basically, this is a little pop-up rig. Um, you've got three bits of pop-up sweet corn, soaked in Hinders beat and then constantly. Um, really strong, really, really strong. That liquid, you know, I, I don't use plastic baits without beating and I always have it with me. Just, you know, keep, keep your plastics in a pot and just soak it in there. I've been doing it for a long time. Um, and I'm sure it increases my catch rates on that side of things. Um, so yeah, it really is, this is, this is, it's great liquid. Um, then basically, we come further down the rig. You've got another size six captor wide gape. 
Um, and then up on the rig there, I don't know, you see that there's a little rig ring just there. Um, quite far up the uh, up, up the shank of the hook because obviously it's pop, it's a uh, light bait, you know, we want the point of the hook to be heavy. So it's, if you look, it's just sitting over like a claw. Then we've got uh, that's a section of strip back there of a quarter end trap, 15 pound. Um, and there, it looks like quite a big blob of putty, but it's not all putty, trust me. It's a uh, sinker, just with a bit of putty wrapped around it, um, just to obviously keep it pinned down. So sit like that, sit like a claw. Um, and then we've got a couple of other sinkers dotted along the line, just to help it take the, bot the you know, shape of the bottom. Um, and then an anti tank sleeve. Simple as that, this rig's slightly longer, probably about 10 inches. Um, but yeah, that's been doing the business. And also we've got the hinge stiff rig, but I've showed you that so many times I thought I won't show you it again. Uh, it's just the same as what I use in England, just with a stepped up, you know, size 6 trolley. No nothing different. Um, the only thing that's different on it, I suppose, is that I'm using a little micro ring swivel on the D of the rig, you know, of, of the trolley, instead of using just a, st a standard um, rig ring, just because it spins quicker. Um, and the hook holes I've been getting on that <coughs> are absolutely phenomenal. Bottom lip, inch back, yeah, they're, not, they're not getting away. Um, and it takes the screamers, so I think it's uh, it's sort of, you know, fish touches the bait, bang, nailed. Um, and then basically, I, I've brought over some boys with me. I did bring some over, not not a lot, really. Um, I brought some nuts over with me, Hindus nuts, is, you know, <laughs> you've probably noticed if you watch my videos, it's one of my favourite baits at the minute. Um, seems to be doing the business, and uh, it's been doing it over here. So, basically, I've brought them over. Um, but the is you can't get a massive amount of bait over with you. So, what I've done is uh, on site, the manager Ray he prepares the particle. Um, really cheap. You got um, four euros per kilo for a for hemp, and uh, three euros per kilo for maize. And that's just cooked for you here. Yeah, you know, you don't have to place an order. You just say to him, look, mate, you know, can I have, can I have, uh, you know, let's say ten kilo of maize and five kilo of hemp. It's done for you the next day or within a couple of hours. You know, it's down there, job done. So it's really good like that, you know, um, and basically that's what I've been using. Um, as you can see, the munger, <laughs> that's what I'm using, just putting that out in the boat with the rig over the top of that. Um, as you can imagine, that pop-up sweet corn rig there really blends in nicely. Um, and then, I mean, maybe it seems different to use a boilie, but with boilies as well with it, it's not bad. Um, and also a little edge that I'm doing, I'm doing with this is... Uh, Good old faithful, hinders pink slime, absolute cracking stuff. Um, you know, it's, it's a tiger slime, so this will be like a creamy twist. It's really nice, really sweet. Um, it tastes nice as well. <laughs> um, but yeah, just drizzling that in over the top um, when it's in the boat, and then just laying the rig on top with a bit of PVA foam, and just boating it out um, as far up shallow as I can get it because the fish are sat up shallow at the minute. But uh, yeah, let's hope it gets better. Um, I mean, I haven't done badly. I've, I've had, you know, I've had four fish. It's nothing over thirty pounds the biggest, thirty-five pounds the biggest. Um, so it's just, it's just the peg, you know. It's, it's deeper water, um, and they're up in the shallows. But who knows? The weather's nice and warm. It's been quite a relaxing week. I've had a little dabble for some roach up in the stock pond. So it's been good. Um, but yeah. Still got a couple of nights left, there's no need to worry, you know. <laughs> See if we can catch a few. Right, well, what a wake up call is this. Finally, I'm off the mark. Um, not with the biggest fish, but a nice 26 pound. Um, looks a lot bigger, just caught on some maize. Um, two bits of maize tipped off of a bit of half a pop up over a bed of uh, maize and hemp. So I've been putting a lot of bait out to get this one, <laughs> um, but they're just all topping up in the shallows, but maybe this is a change, maybe we can have some more, so let's see, let's get some photos and then slip this beauty back. Right then, we'll take a look at this stunning 32 and a half pound mirror, <sighs> left or last knockings, it's 9.06 now on Saturday morning, we'll be packing up soon, so oh well, at least we managed to bag one. And look at it, it's got its winter colours on it. Stunning. <sighs> nice to be off the mark. Um, yeah, just caught in a Hinders nuts pop up. 
um, over better hemp and maize. Love. Right, well I'm pleased to say that I'm back here in 8 and 9. A peg that, if any of you watched my other video, you would have seen I had a really good week here last time. I had 11 fish at the £54. It was a really good week and it was nice and warm. I'm back in here again and the sun is shining after two cold nights. It's looking good, there's a few fish in front of me, mostly down sadly in the peg I was in last time. Now I've moved, they're back down there. But this time it's Monday evening, um, sorry, Tuesday evening. Um, so I've been here already a night, I had nothing last night but just loads of liners which suggested to me that I was being done. So I've changed a few things on my rigs, changed lengths, changed shrink tubing, all sorts of things, hook size, um, lots of things I've changed. Um, and I've put the bait out, I've had, let them out a free feed today um, for a couple of hours then put some more bait in on top um, and now we're fishing on spots that are heavily baited, ready to rock and hopefully we can have a couple of big ones. Last week I prefer not to talk about last week, but, <laughs> you know, basically last week I had a few too many beers. Um, Mum came and visited, um, and basically fishing just went out of the window. So I still had two fish, we'll have a look at them later on in the video. Um, but yeah, it, was, it wasn't a good week. Um, there wasn't many fish in front of me, same as last time I fished it. Um, but yeah, now they've just started topping down there, so phew, what can you do? That's fishing, I suppose. But hopefully tonight, maybe we can have a... Have a fish. Let's see how it goes. Right, well, here we go. Finally, can't believe I pleased down with this fish. 32 and a half pound mirror. It's getting on about half 10, 11 ish. Finally, the left end rod ripped off just down to where the fish was topping. They've been topping like mad all night. And finally, it's ripped off. Just taking my bottom bait, tip with corn, pop up corn. Um, soaked in Hinder's beetle in, Hinder's nuts. Cracking, made up with this, it's been a slow week. Hopefully this is a sign of uh, more good things to come, let's hope. Let's get some photos of it. I don't know whether you can see it very well with this, but oh well, we'll get some photos and uh, you know, have a look at them and then we we'll slip her back. What a stunner. Okay, well, get in. Been quite a hard oh. week so far, as you've probably gathered. And actually, so has the fishing since I've been here, it's been quite hard. This week, there's only been four fish out, and that's only two... two um, fish to each angler, so it's been incredibly slow. That's down in the deep water and up here, and the fish have been topping over the top of the bloke down in peg three, and he's a good angler, but they're hard to catch still. So what I've had to do is I've had to mess about with my bait and approach and my rigs and that sort of thing. But using a bait boat, you can achieve a different presentation to what you can with a spod or even with a small PVA bag. So I think the bait boat has been the main key. This is an Anatec bait boat, it takes 1.5 kilos in the hopper and what I'm doing is I'm adding maize and hemp which are both cooked on site here at Top Cart France. I'm also for hook baits, I'm using a range of pop-ups which is Hinder's Pops pop-ups and 10mm pink ones. Tipping ballies off of corn soaked in Hinder's Beetling and also using a cream stem Hinder's white pop-ups on a hinge stiff rig. Now, as I said, I've been messing about my rigs and my presentation. And last night, I had to change all of my rigs quite considerably to be able to get a fish. And I changed it down to a standard silicon rig, which is this rig here. All it is, is a boilie tipped off with pop-up corn soaked in Hinder's beetle in on a 7-8 inch rig with a size 6 fang twister with a bit of shrink tubing and a silicon to trap the hair down the hook. It was quite simple, but for some reason it worked. I was finding that the fish been picking up my bait, dropping it, getting away with it, and I thought that's not on. So I sat in the bivvy and I wondered what can I do? I reeled the rods in, all of them at once, changed a few things because I could see fish topping over my spot and I was not getting any bites. I changed it around and finally we got a bite. So like I said, I'm using maize and hemp. That's what I was using last time and this is all cooked fresh on site, no prepared particles, nothing. I'm mixing boilies in and I'm dropping it down over the spot and really getting a pucker presentation. So hopefully there's more to come tonight, maybe tomorrow, and then we're off packing up over to Peg 4 and 5. Let's see how it goes. Okay, well, it's Saturday morning. Um, Saturday morning basically is the change of the day where the next week's lot of anglers come on and this week move off. So basically, I'm going to be moving over to 4 and 5 now. This week's been bad, but Let's hope there's more to come. The fish are top in front of us. Um, that's of eight and nine, but 
Uh, there's no one on the lake next week, so we'll have to see. But yeah, it's looking good. Hopefully, we can have a good week and uh, hopefully, we can just get some goddamn fishing. <laughs> it's just not been going good. So yeah, let's see what happens. Wish me luck. I'll see you on the other side. <laughs> right, well, it's um, I'm now over here in Peg Form 5. Um, I've just finished setting up. I um, haven't got the rods out yet, but getting round to it slowly. Um, it's looking good. There's a lot of fish about. Um, it's cold, the weather is cold, um, but surprisingly they're up in the shallows, which is amazing me quite a bit, but phew, who knows. Um, and they're also down in peg free in the deeper water, so there's a good chance of uh, a couple of fish. Hopefully it'll be good. Um, got a few tricks up my sleeve. Um, see if I can hopefully wiggle one out. Um, but so far I'm just tying rigs, things like that, and just getting ready to get the rods out, really. Um, it's still a bit chaotic, you know, as it is when you're set up again. So yeah, it's looking good. I hope we can have a couple and, uh, you know, maybe have that uh, that nice big one come along at some point, we'll see. Um, but yeah, I'm going to get the rods out um, and get the rigs tied up, get baited up, and then uh, I shall talk to you soon, hopefully with a fish. Um, if not, maybe some talks about bait or whatever, but we'll see how it goes, see what happens. Um, but I need to get a move on now before it gets too late. So I'm going to get cracking, get the rods out, and uh, right, well, here we go. Take a look at this lovely 32 and a half pound mirror. Just roared off on the boily tip with corn. Made up with this. Look at the stunning winter colours on it. What a chunk. Oh, it's going to be a big fish for this holder. And also, meet the dog Stinky. <laughs> Just came up out of nowhere a couple of days ago and. Uh, she decided to stay with us, so there's Stinky, here's the 32, I'm Dominic Cash and gone fishing. Lovely. Wednesday morning, I'm a happy man. Um, as you saw last night, it was pretty manic. Um, it just suddenly went crazy. Uh, I had that lovely 23 kilo there, um, uh, a 19, well, nearly 19 kilo, um, and that stunning ghosty in the morning, which was actually a PB for me. Um, my PB ghosty before that was about 15, 16 pound. Um, so it's nice to have a, have a PB ghosty, you know, and a stunning fish at that as well, um, especially for a French fish. So yeah, really good, really, really happy actually. Um, you know, the last couple of weeks <coughs> have been hard fishing, you know, it has been hard. Um, for me anyway, because I've, I've, you know, I've been in a couple of unfavoured swims. Um, I've been mostly in peg one and two, which really hasn't been producing very well. Um, and then when I finally got into eight and nine, temperatures started dropping, fish moved right out of there. Um, so <coughs> now, obviously, four and five, infinite swim, you know, for, for producing lots of fish, um, and like it did last night, it produced, uh, you know, three fish, and uh, two proper lunkers, um, absolutely made up with that, um, shame about the lighting really, but you've probably seen the photos by now, um, and what a fish it was, massive, massive thing, um, hard, slow, plodding fight, um, and yeah, so really pleased with that, really pleased, um, Hopefully tonight we can have the same sort of thing. Um, that'd be nice, you know. <laughs> another, another, another 20 kilo. Um, there's a lot of big fish <coughs> topping. Um, that 23 came from down in uh, Peg Free, so down in the deeps um, where I've seen a lot of big fish topping from. So yeah, 
hopefully there's more. You just have to see. Um, I've got a bit of trickery to show you that I'm doing. Um, and uh, show you the rigs and things. But yeah, one step at a time, we see how it goes, see what happens. Hopefully, I have some more to report back on. All right, guys, no worries. I don't know if you can see that. this. It's a 24 kilo, 53 and a half pound, roughly. What a brute. Oh, I've put them down. Oh, absolute monster. Same drill, I'm gonna get pictures. It's probably the best way of doing it. Oh, not quite a PB, but crazy close. Big, big, big fish. Happy man, go on fishing. Stunning 30 pound mirror. The big ample slices running on the top of its uh, top of its body there. Just near the dorsal fin, an absolutely stunning fish. Um, pulled it in and sadly it had a little line wrap around it, which is a real shame. So I managed to get that out um, in some beast condition. What a stunner. Crazy nights fishing. Boat these back out and uh, party on. <laughs> Gold fishing. Well, last night I don't think I really realised uh, how crazy it was, how good the fishing's been. Um, it's Thursday, Thursday morning. Um, obviously last night you saw me there with the, the 24 kilo, um, very close to my PB, uh, very, very close. It was 53 and a half pound, so uh, yeah, close to the PB, um, PB is 54 and a half pound. Um, so yeah, came close, massive fish, massive, massive fish. Um, I did not expect 220 kilos, so maybe this is payback for all the bad weeks fishing I've had. Um, but yeah, absolute result, really pleased with that. Um, still, hopefully there's more to come. I don't know how, how that's possible you know, to get any better really. Um, I also had that stunning um, fish this morning, that, that 30 pounder. Um, lovely, lovely scales on it, almost like apple slices, real English carp you think. Um, but yeah, for France, a really nice fish. <coughs> um, had a lot of line tangle around it. It was a bit of a shame. Um, but I managed to get that off, so the fish is all back safe. You know, put some medicarp on it. All's good. Um, and yeah, it's a good night last night. Good night. Um, not as cold as the night before. The night before um, was really, really, really cold. Last night wasn't as bad. Um, still cold. <laughs> still cold. Still, still zero, plus one maybe. Um, and today's maybe... Maximum, I'd say, plus eight, plus nine. Um, so it is, it is cold, um, but amazingly, it's fishing well. So I think what we do is um, I'm going to finish baiting up. I've got some boys to put out, um, and I think we're going to talk uh, tactics, show you some of the, the baiting edges I've been doing, um, and some of the things I've been doing with the rigs and the presentations and stuff. So yeah, show you what's working. Um, if any of you guys ever want to come out here, then. Yeah, you know, might be handy. Um, and yeah, I was probably seen a bit. I need to get the rest of these bullies out, so I'm going to do that. And uh, yeah, maybe there's a chance for another big one. Who knows? Huh? Right, so like I said, um, I was going to talk to you about what I'm doing um, with rigs and bait and uh, bait application. Um, so basically, it is different, it's not much different, but you know, it's one of those little edges that makes a difference. Um, so I think the key thing that I've been doing, different to last time, um, is I've been taking Hinder's Little Gems pellets. Um, really high carp protein, strong, good pellets. Really, any of you who watch my videos will know how much I like the, like the pellets. You know, I love them. I don't go anywhere about them. I use them all the time. Flawless pellet. Um, so what I've done is because you get maize um, and hemp cooked on the site. Um, what I've done is I've asked Ray, the manager, to separate the oils from the maize and the hemp 
and put into a bucket for me. I've then taken a bag of little gems pellets, tipped it straight into the oil, and I've left it to sit for two to three days. And I opened up the lid, and all the oil was gone, and the pellet was just beautiful, just mush, just holding the oils in it. And basically, that is what it came out like. And that's got hemp and maize mixed in there. You can see that absolutely cracking mix, proper dripping. It's 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 not like when you get the maize, you get loads of liquid and stuff. It's if you mix it with your maize and hemp, you don't get that. You just get it in the pellet. So when you just put it out, the oil slick slowly leaks off for ages and ages and ages and ages. Absolutely phenomenal, phenomenal little edge, I think. Um, and obviously mixed in with the hemp and maize, natural attractions on that anyway. Um, so yeah, that's basically what I've been doing with the bait that I've been putting in. Um, and then <coughs> I've been f changing my rigs about a bit, like uh, like I said. Um, and basically the rig that I've come up with that seems to be working, simple, um, effective. What more do you want? Um, basically, all it is, a really short rig for me. Maybe five, five inches. Um, you got a curve shank hook there, <coughs> a bit of silicon on the bend, shrink tube in, just following the eye, um, and all we've got is hinders nuts boily, and on top there that looks like pop-up corn. It's not. What it is is zig foam soaked in hinders beetling, like I always do. You've seen it before, soaking it in a pot of beetling. Really could do a top and up now. <laughs> Soaked the water beetle in, so really strong smelling, leaks off slowly, makes a little halo around it. Um, and then obviously, you've got the added attraction of the nuts boily, which is phenomenal anyway. Um, cracking boily. Um, and all it is is the braid is just hybrid soft, 18 pound, really supple. Um, and yeah, I've just ended up doing this because I'm using the boat, so I can just drop it straight down. There's no worry really about anti tangle, but I'm still using an anti tangle sleeve. Um, and that's just on a leg clip system um, with a small lead and yeah that, that seems to be uh, one of the rigs that's going, it's simple it's not hard but it's just the little tweaks, shortening it, lengthening the shrink tube in um, the positioning of the silicon on the bend of the hook um, the boilie the zig foam, all adds up to quite a big thing so that's what I've been catching um, that's what I caught my 24 on last night, 24 kilo last night, absolutely nailed, bottom lip about half a mile back in its mouth. Um, and the second rig is this one. Quite simple. It's the Johnny Mac rig. Um, shot um, down here, just with a bit of uh, tungsten putty around it. End trap soft, 15 pound silt, eight tangle sleeve, quarter cap to curve shank hook, um, and you've got an overhand loop knot. Um, push through the eye of the hook coming upwards, um, rig ring put on it, pulled back over and then I've just added a cream stim pop up to the rig, to the uh, to the rig ring um, and that, that's that been going as well, that, that seems to be doing it, that's been nailing them as well um, and obviously what I'm doing with the maize and the hemp and the little jams pallets is uh, mixing in um, some Hinders Tiger Slime um, yeah, and I've got natural um, coconut oils in there. Oh, there's a fish just top then. Um, you've got, sorry, not the coconut oil, the um, tiger nut oils and things. So a lot of natural attraction in that. Um, and then I'm putting in some boilies, in there's nuts boilies, mixed in. Um, and then obviously, a few with the frying stick, as you saw me doing earlier on. Um, and I suppose the white pop up, you all know it's a great colour. Um, but I think it resembles a washed out bit, I suppose. Um, but yeah, just. Great fishing over the top, top of, top of that bed there that I've got. Um, cracking really, that's what's been working. Um, bit of trickery, maybe some of you say no, maybe some of you say yes. But um, that's what's been doing it. Changed a few things, found about things, um, and that's the end result. I think that's the best thing is to, is to you know, have to struggle for it. Change, change, change. Finally it's paid off and uh, it's working as you can see. So. Basically now I'm going to reel in the rods, go have a, a shower, a shave and the other one, but I don't want to say it because it's uh, swearing. Um, so yeah, I'm going to do that. <laughs> um, I'm going to go put my laptop on charge and my phone. Um, so we've got the entertainment for later, all these long dark winter evenings. 
Uh, and then I'll come back down. I should get the rods out. It's about quarter past, twenty past twelve now. I want the rods back out by two. Um, so I'll get them in nice and early. Uh, I'm going to change a few of the positions on some of them. There's a lot of fish now. Now, seeing as I've left eight and nine, they're now topping back up in eight and nine as well. There's peg three down to the left and right. So I'm going to move the rods around, position them a bit different, um, and see if we can uh, see if we can bag a few more. So you can bag a few more. I think the smaller fish are up in the shallows and the bigger fish down in the deeps, but the fish are fish, all the same, and they're uh, just as good as the big ones. So, right, well, I'm going to get on with it, otherwise, I could sit here all day and talk to you. So, I'm going to get cracking, um, and I'll just talk to you later uh, when I put on my rods. Nice one, cheers, guys. £35 pound scaly mirror. Not only are there big ones in here, there's also some stunning scaly fish. I mean, at this size, bloody hell, <laughs> stunning. Just caught the hinders nuts boily, just by itself, absolutely stunning. Made up with that. Didn't have anything last night, and finally rewarded with this. Lovely. Let's get it back. Go on fishing. Well here we have another lunker, nearly 19 kilos, no sorry 19.2 I think it was or something, um, so 43, 42 pound, um, one that I've had before, um, I had a, had a couple of nights ago actually, so, and you couldn't see it because it was in the, in, the, uh, in the dark, but now, here it is in all its glory, nice little chunk really, quite small, quite fat. Um, but at the minute, I can't retake really this in um, because what we've got in the net is uh, something double the size of this. Um, mind blown. So, next fish you see will be amazing, but I can't currently lift out the water at the minute by myself, so I'm just waiting for the manager. But, um, Ray, but <sighs> happy man, it's PB time. Uh, so, yeah, I'm going to get some photos of this, get this one back, and then try and recover while. I'll wait for Ray. Lovely. The monster. <laughs> Go on fishing. I've just tried lifting out the water. And, uh, well, it's pretty much impossible. <laughs> it doesn't look very big in the net, but that other, other one who's 19 kilo, this thing's double that size. It's crazy. I, really do. I, had, I, I said I had a big fish in the net. You know what? Here it is, I can't really hold it. Superb. I think you and me are both gobsmacked. Here he comes, look, the man, the man. I think we're both gobsmacked. This is the man. <laughs> Dom. Negrelu, come on. He's the man. Well done, mate. Yes, yeah, fun. <laughs> 72 and a half pound and I wow. can really lift it. Woo-hoo. <sighs> That's Be a big fish. Beautiful. Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh. That's big, guys. Gone fishing. <laughs> More gone than it could ever be. More gone than it can. Where are you, Dom? I don't even know. Ooh. Do it proper, proper. Look at that. Let's get a look of his head. It's <laughs> dark. Man, that is crazy. Right. I think I'm going to slip her back, man. Stun, stun me and stun you proud, didn't she? Done me proud, mate. Yeah. Mm. Stun me well proud. Okay. You've done me proud as well, Dom. Oh, fucking. Well done. Good job. <sighs> Shame to see her go, really, isn't it? But hey. Mate, it is. Hey, let someone else oh, enjoy her. Oh, bloody hell. Wow. Look at that. Oh, Have some of that. Oh, superb. Have some of that. Mwah. Yeah. I could kiss it a million times. <laughs> right. Oh, she's... Let her. Just wait for her. I think she's ready. Off she goes. Here she goes. <laughs> Look at this one. No, I think last word for Dom. Hey, gone fishing. <laughs> hey, nice one. Gone fishing. Great gone stuff. Gone fishing. Oh, I don't, why is she gone? Why can't I just keep her with me? Like on a lead or something. Take her home with me. Right, well, it's early afternoon on Saturday. Um, I'm all packed up. It's my last day. I'm leaving today. Um, Travelling home with Ray. Uh, to catch the ferry for tomorrow morning. 
it's quite a drive back, it's about nine hours. Um, all packed up, everything's down, ready to go basically. Um, I just thought I'd do this piece in a peg known as eight and nine. For those of you who've watched um, the last France video I did here um, back in July, you'll know this is the spot of where I first fished in France and where uh, I caught my PB at 54 pounds 9 ounces. Um, special moment for me, special peg this one. Um, stunning peg anyway, regardless of the fish that I caught. But still, a special moment, a special place. So I thought I'd send myself off from here. <coughs> um, I just thought I'd do this piece. I suppose, I suppose it's the end of uh, a very amazing six weeks. Um, obviously the opportunity that I've been given is is amazing. Um, really, really quite unreal to be honest with you. Um, you know, just to be fishing for six weeks is crazy. Um, you know, it's been it's been a good time. Um, I've drunk a fair share of beers. Um, <laughs> uh, spent a couple of nights, not even particularly uh, in the fishing zone. Let's call it. Um, and uh, yeah, I've thrown up, whatever, and had my goods and my bad times, you know, woken up with a good old hangover and everything. Um, I suppose it's the fun of going away. Um, yeah, it's, it's, been a, it's been a good six weeks. It's taught me a lot. I've, I've definitely uh, grown up quite a bit since I've been here. I think I need to do some growing up, and uh, I think that's definitely happened. Um, you know, catering for myself and myself for six weeks. Um, it was quite interesting, quite 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 uh, hard, let's say. Um, I learned to use a washing uh, a washing machine, which is pretty crazy. I never ever thought I'd be manning one of those, um, especially the lodge one. That's quite an interesting washing machine. <laughs> Jimmy, if you're watching, you'll know what I mean. Um, but yeah, no, a few things I've learned. You know, it's been interesting. Um, I've, I've had hard fishing, um, and I've turned it around. I've had to work for every single fish I've caught. It's not been easy, um, in in no nowhere near easy. Um, I've, I've I've done a week, one week I had, I had one fish. You know, it's been it's been hard fishing some weeks, um, but I don't know whether it's down to the peg or the fish or whatever. But in the end, I've cracked it. You know, I've had a fish that I will probably not beat for a long time. Um, there's fish bigger back in here. And I'll come back for that bigger one at some point, 35 kilo, um, but. That's going to take some catching and some time, but but yeah, it's uh, it's been interesting. I've uh, I've, I've had a few uh, interesting experiences and seen a few lovely fish out of here. Big girl, absolutely amazing. Uh, well done, Harry, for catching that one, mate. That's a nice fish. Um, 61 pound. That's a beast, and I never thought to see a fish that big, um, let alone be holding one bigger, um, which is pretty crazy. So yeah, it's been a really really good time. Um, I don't really want to leave. Um, I do and I don't, if you know what I mean. I suppose you've all felt that feeling. Um, you know, it's, it's such a stunning place. Any of you who fished it before will know it's a stunning place and, and uh, just amazing fish and everything. Um, <clears throat> and then I've got to get back to the real world from this place. It's, that's quite hard. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I don't really want to leave, but I'm looking forward to going back to England, you know, talking to people who actually speak English. Um, my French is pretty bad, so. It's been been interesting. Um, seems to get better after you've had a couple of beers, the French. So uh, yeah, no need for French lessons. Just drink a couple of beers. Um, but yeah, looking forward to getting home. It's a long drive. It'll be worth every every minute of it. Um, when we get back to England, we've got a couple of new lakes that I'm, I'm fishing. Um, one's got a 47 in it, so that's my target fish for next year. Um, set a couple of new targets. Um, but yeah, keep your eyes open in the magazines. Um, I think I'm going to be in Carp Talk, so have a look in there. Um, and yeah, another exciting thing um, that I found out is that I, I could be uh, could be the British world record, the British record holder. Sorry for the for the youngest person to catch the biggest fish, which is which is uncomprehendable, really. Um, absolutely awesome. Um, so that's basically what this six weeks has done for me and more so I'm going to stop blabbering on about mindless rubbish um, I'm going to get cracking um, but 
if you're interested in fishing fishing here, which if you aren't, there's, there's something wrong upstairs. Um, <laughs> no, I'm joking, but you know, it's, it's such an amazing place. Um, so I seriously consider it. If you are interested, um, check out Top Carp France Negrelube on Facebook. Um, I'll put also the website link up at the end of this video after this piece um, and get in touch with James, James to sort out um, and yeah I, I, I suppose I've got to say thank you to James, Harry and Ray um, for this opportunity, um, Ray for looking after me um, and James for, for, you know, Harry for bringing me out here and James for asking me to stay on and just absolutely amazing you know so thank you very much to all three of you, thank you very much for watching, hopefully it hasn't been too boring or too whatever um, and I haven't blabbed too long so yeah thank you very much <coughs> see you next time and yeah